Book 319. Good morning, good morning. Welcome back to Morning Motivation with Matthew Daniels. And today, I'm going to tell you guys about The Three Gods of the Underworld, Part 4, The Finale. That's right, The Three Gods of the Underworld, Part 4, The Finale. But, what is Matthew Daniels talking about? Um... A long, long time ago, in The Three Guys of the Underworld, Part 3, before he could finish his sentence, the child blew the white powder, which sat in his open hand, and it flew directly into the face of the student. Coughing and wiping his face, the student tried to get the powder out of his eyes. When he did, he noticed that he was no longer inside of the underworld, and his teacher, the high priest, was standing before him. Teacher, the student exclaimed, realizing he was back inside the schoolhouse. What? What just happened? Why did you send me to the underworld? And what was the meaning of those three crying children and those three difficult tasks? The high priest smiled. Well, my student, the high priest explained, the answer is simple. Do you remember when you came to me saying that you felt ill-equipped to complete your classes? You poured out your heart to me and you said that you were not good enough. It is because of that conversation that I sent you to the underworld. And the three crying children with their three difficult tasks was simply me testing you to see if you were indeed ill-equipped or not. Testing me, the student repeated. Yes, the high priest replied. Allow me to explain. The crying child who needed help purifying the sea of blood was symbolic of the land and the souls of the people. As a priest, it will be your job to ensure that the land gifts are increased each year. And also, it will be your job to assist the people in purifying their souls in order that they might go to be with the ancestors when they die. If you can make the land clean and usable for crops, and if you can guide the people into righting their wrongs before they die, then indeed you are well equipped to become a priest. The crying child who needed help putting together the thousands of bodies from the mountain of bones was symbolic of yet another task that is required of the priest. As a priest, you must be handy with your hands and you need to know how to fix that which is broken. Also, as a priest, you must know how to put back together a broken person. There will be many people who come to you whose life is in pieces and they will expect you to put it back together again. If you can do this, then indeed you are well equipped to become a priest. The crying child who needed help healing the heal made of flesh was symbolic of the physical illnesses you will be called upon to heal and also the mental and spiritual illnesses that people will come to you with. As a priest, you must be able to diagnose a disease and prescribe a cure and you must also be able to deal with those who are plagued by negative thoughts about themselves and others. If you can do this, then indeed you are well equipped to become a priest. The student thought back to all three of the difficult tasks he helped the crying children to complete, and suddenly it all made sense. Realizing he found a way to complete each task and also help the crying child who needed his help, the student's confidence level rose, and he knew then that he was more than ready to assume the role of a priest. I only have one last question, the student said. I understand what the three difficult tasks were symbolic of, but what did the three crying children represent? The high priest let out a chuckle. The three crying children, he repeated with a smile. Well, that should be obvious. The three crying children were symbolic of you crying to me about how ill-equipped you felt. The high priest and the student laughed together, and the high priest told him to never doubt himself again. And so, the morning motivation of the day is The Three Gods of the Underworld, Part 4, The Finale. In life, we can sometimes become our own worst critic. We may have everything within us necessary to complete a task and reach our goals in life, but because we doubt our own intelligence and abilities, we never even make the attempt. Today, instead of thinking you are not there yet, tell yourself that you are overqualified. Instead of telling yourself you cannot do it, tell yourself that it is already done. Instead of telling yourself you are ill-equipped, realize that you were ready to tackle this task a long time ago. So today, go out and become the best version of yourself and always strive to do that which is good. And remember, you are awesome, you are amazing, you are wonderful, and you are great. And you are going to change the world.
I just hope I'm still alive to see it, family. I'm out. Good morning. To order books in the Morning Motivation with Matthew Daniels book series, search Morning Motivation with Matthew Daniels on Amazon.com or visit www.dandyandbighern.com.